So now that we have a feel for what logs are about, let's take a look at that log button on your calculator. Typically, all it says is log. But we know that in order to do a logarithm, or an inverse exponent, we need to know the base and the result of the exponent. There must be some assumption being made with this button here, isn't there? And indeed there is. This log button on your calculator uses the base of 10. So, whenever you use this button, remember the base is 10. Given our numbering system, we'll find this to be pretty useful. And that's why we find it as a common log button on your calculator. So if we were to enter log 100, what would we expect to get? Well, let's see. We know it's using a base of 10. So really what we're saying is log base 10 of 100. And what does that mean? Thinking the power that would cause a base 10 to get to 100 would be, well, same base, but switching the 100 and the unknown, and we see that it would take a power of 2. Let's try another. Log 1000. And we stop and we say, okay, if we just have log like that, we assume that it must be log base 10 of 1000. So pause and give that one a try. Thinking the power that would cause the base 10 to get to 1000, well, it's three zeros, so 10 to the 3. Let's try another. Log 1. Pause and give this one a try. Well, we know that it would be log base 10 of 1, and we think the power that would cause a base 10 to get to 1 would be, well, anything that has an exponent of 0 comes out to be 1. So our answer must be 0. Try another. Log of 0 0.01. Pause and give this one a try. The power that would cause a base 10 to be 0 0.01, well, 0 0.01 is the same as 1 over 100. So we need to push the 10 to the denominator. So we know it'll be a negative exponent. And we also know that 10 to the 2 is 100, so our answer must be negative 2. One last one. Let's do one that actually depends on the calculator a bit more. Log 50. So we're thinking, well, that's log base 10 of 50. The power that would cause a base 10 to get to 50 would be, well, if we plug it into our calculator, we get 1.699, and that's rounded a tad. Let's test our result though. So we should be able to calculate 10 to the power of 1.699, and we get, with a tiny bit of rounding again, 50. So, works as expected.